pee. For penis. Juice! Hey, welcome back to our stupid direction of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, subscribe, and like button. And uh, even though it happened a few days ago, congratulations, India. And I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I do. The, uh, I can't even say the name of it, though. It's called The Moon. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> uh, is it Chandrayaan 3? Chandrayaan 3. Yeah. Uh, we are very aware of it, obviously, and, and the accomplishment that it was in terms of being the fourth country to land on the moon uh, and also the first to land on the dark side of the moon outside and, of Pink Floyd. And, <laughs> yes, and the, the first one to do it at such a low price tag. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So this is, uh, we've gotten a lot of reactions. One to not only just talk about it because yeah. we haven't yet. Um, we've, we knew about it immediately knew about when it, it we, happened. We posted we it on the stories uh, and stuff like that. We but. haven't done anything like that. But we got a lot of people on the YouTube comments asking us for uh, a reaction to talk about it. So this goes over a little bit of the stuff. This is a CNN post. Uh, see the moment India becomes the fourth country to land on the moon. Obviously, it's a big deal. Um there's only four countries that do it so far. That's kind of it's kind of crazy. It's true. You think, I mean, it happened so long ago for the United States, and it was a big race between us and the Soviet Union at the time, right? Um, but I mean, we are very aware of how much it costed India, as opposed to how much it usually costs. Correct. Us. <laughs> very aware of that. Fact. And I think the amount of time from inception of idea to creation of craft to the actual accomplishment as well. Yeah. Here we go. India has done it. It has become now the fourth country to land a spacecraft on the moon after the U.S. and China and the former Soviet Union. Just moments ago, we're talking just a couple of minutes, the Sandrayaan-3. No, oh, wow. What a video. Sandrayaan-3 spacecraft landed on the moon. Did Modi do a live reaction? I don't know. Maybe yeah, maybe did. He has his own reaction channel now. Yeah. <laughs> already sharing stunning photos from the mission. And look at these pictures of the approach. It's not very dark. It's a rare close-up of the moon's kind of dusty gray terrain. This mission comes... It's funny. It, it doesn't even look real. Yeah, it's not just like the one we landed. Yeah, exactly. Russia failed to land a spacecraft. Correct. NASA has announced multiple... Yeah, Russia had a major failure just before this. ...first woman and person of color on the moon's surface. But India landed on the south pole of the moon, and experts believe there could be ice, mineral deposits, valuable elements there. And a guy named Murray. Rebecca Sue joins us live in New Delhi with more. I can only imagine how excited people are, Vedika. Absolutely. The moment that soft landing happened, Poppy, you should have seen these people behind me. Now they're leaving this temporary pavilion that was set up. But they were clapping, they were cheering, they were chanting. Who had better internet, her or me during the Raja DK? <laughs> <laughs> while he was addressing the nation. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is at the BRICS Summit in South Africa currently, but he tuned in virtually to watch that moment. And what a moment it was. You could see the it's not manned, right? Uh, it's, no, it's just a, a craft. And it, a, uh, like a yeah, rover or something like that. Exactly. I think, it, I think it's a rover as well as a, you know, that can take samples. Yeah. To fail to make that soft landing on the moon. But well, that's the past. Now look at what's happened today. India is not only, like you pointed out, Victor, the fourth country in the world to make the soft landing on the moon. It's also the first country in the world to make the soft landing in the South Pole region. A big accomplishment for India. Just the first in many in terms of its space ambitions. It wants to send uh, a mission to space very soon, a manned mission. It also wants a place in the International Space uh, Center there. So a lot happening at the International Space Station, rather. Right now, we still have the Indian Prime Minister speaking live. This is, like people have told us, and scientists have said, a moment of intense national pride. Back to you. Exciting moment. They're joining a very small fraternity. Vedika Sood with the reporting there. Thank you so much. Let's bring in now Mike Massimino. He's a former NASA astronaut and professor of mechanical engineering. Looks like an old University. thumb. He also has a new book coming out <laughs> in December called Moonshot, a NASA astronaut's guide to achieving the impossible. Mike, good to have you. Let's start. I give your mom a moonshot. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. How important it is for India not just to join the <laughs> but to go now to the South Pole. 
Yeah, so the South Whoa. Is big, big there. Uh, they should voice, do some sorry. South Indian dubbing. Uh, they should. There's uh, they, they, there's ice there. Uh, so the interest with ice is that it can be possibly made into drinking water to support crews. That oh, there. I thought he was referring to there. the law enforcement organization here in the United States. Rocket fuel to use the, the moon as a place to launch to further locations out in the cosmos. So that is the great interest with the South Pole. And no one's been able to land there yet. This yeah. is the first time yeah. the country has pulled that one off. So this is big news. and looking forward to what they'll find out there. And what are they trying to, to find out there? Well, if they can if they can find that ice and see learn more about it, how it's composed of what, what form it's in, where it is exactly, and maybe how they can process it into drinking water and how they can maybe process it into fuel. Uh, also, just the, the orbital mechanics, the physics of getting to the, the reason it's so difficult is because of it's, it's a difficult place to get to based on the math, the physics, the orbital mechanics. It's harder to get there than it is in the, toward the center of the moon. Of course. Previously. So f sharing, hopefully they'll share all that information. I would expect they would. What the terrain is like, uh, if there's any atmosphere there at all, any traces of any elements there. So all of these things will help us understand uh, the South Pole, which is of great interest as a possible landing location, not only for more spacecraft like this, but also for people in the future. Yeah. It's just been a few days since the Russians, uh, their unmanned mission to the moon ended in failure. It crashed into the surface of the moon. That was very sad. Um, and now the, uh, India has, has uh, landed this. Are we in another moon race? I mean, uh, what do you see with, with this, I guess, rush back? Yeah, I hope it's not a. I hope it's not a race. I think it's good to have a little competition maybe, but I, hopefully we're gonna be sharing information together. I think what we're seeing here is that it's possible now to get back to the moon. Not just 50 years ago, like the United States did an incredible accomplishment. It was just a visit. Now we're looking to go back and settle there and explore there and go there for science and for prestige. And vacations. For national prestige. India is going to, you know, this is a great Honeymoons. accomplishment for them. Literally. But also strategically, economically, to see what resources are there. And can we use it as a place to move to other places in the, in the cosmos to, to launch from there? So I, I think... And how quickly can we turn that real estate possible. into a profit? Exactly. We can't get there. For the last 50 years, it's been, uh, you know, it's tough to get there and so on. But now that we see it's possible, more people think about what they can do there. And so that's why I think we're seeing this, this heightened interest, particularly in that location on the moon. But I hope it's not really a race. I hope it's cooperation. It's not an easy thing to do. This is the first time a country's been able to pull it off. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they'll share that information, and hopefully we can go together. Uh, it's, it's the a, scientific it's a community usually is pretty done as a, generous as a like that. Between yeah. different countries around the world. Yeah. It's when you get the Great governments involved. Yeah. Great, Great for India. India. Yeah, Great really, for India. Mike, we'll see what happens, too. We'll, we'll see what they We will be watching it. Oh, hopefully everything keeps working. Yes. You, know, you got a rover that's Fingers looking around, so we'll see what happens so far. Mike Massimino, thanks so much. Look forward to the book. Oh, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you for plugging me. Yeah, it's it's super exciting. Um that I was I had heard about the whole Russia thing too. And it was mm -hmm. that, that always sucks, man. <laughs> My toxic trait is uh, thinking like I could probably get to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. Yeah, no. I can't. I'm just amazed they're able to do those kinds of trajectories from a flat Earth. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it just boggles the mind. <gasps> and it's not lost on people here in the West, obviously, by that newscast, but also news articles here. Everybody was covering it. I mean, all news articles, including non-scientific and non-traditional news articles like Variety and The Hollywood Reporter and things of that nature, um, how it's this isn't just another moon landing. This is this is a one of a kind, first of its kind mm -hmm. in, in many, many respects. And it's it's made, you know, by saying that India becomes the fourth country to land on the moon. That is true. But this is more of a first in many respects than it is a fourth. Uh, Long time since anybody was there. Yeah, and it's 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 without question the most difficult of the moon landings. It's potentially the most important, and it's also the by far they've proven how it can be done for far far less expenditure. It's it's an amazing achievement that proves how much. India is at the forefront of scientific exploration. 
It's it's very very cool. I saw. I don't know who was saying it. I don't. I, I, it might have just been people trolling. They said it was clearly CGI. That and then somebody was like, "Have you seen Bollywood CGI?" <laughs> but then I was like, "What if it was Red Chilies though?" Yeah. <laughs> they, they can do it. Well, people did the same thing with. Uh, they thought Stanley Kubrick, right? That's who they. That's who said. Uh, he cl- he said it himself. <laughs> He said he did it. Yeah, I, I just, it's, it's, for every fact, there's going to be a hundred conspiracy theorists. No. Who, no matter how many facts you give them, won't give up their conspiracies. Also, where's this, um, I forget, it, it starts with an I, their, their NASA name. Oh, I don't know I, where it's headquartered. I something, right? Yeah, I do not know. I-S, it doesn't say. Uh, it's IS something something something. Right? Yeah, it's their NASA, and I don't know where they're headquartered. Because uh, I, I don't know if it's like in Chennai, if it's in Hyderabad, if it's in Mumbai. I don't yeah. know. You guys let me know. Um, anyways, big accomplishment. I know a lot of people are very excited about this, and uh, I just wanted to obviously talk about it and say a few things. So let us know what you thought, any other information that we need to know about it, and uh, which planet are we going to next? I want to live on Jupiter. Breathe those delicious gases. Well, I do that every time we film. <laughs> Just-